hello there and welcome back to my channel or if this is the first video of mine you are seeing then welcome I'm here with part two of my Sephora savings event haul I put some videos in between part one and then part two because I didn't want my channel to be just Sephora hauls one right after the other so I wanted to include some other videos before this but I want to talk about the other products that I picked up during the sale I've now had a couple of days to really test out these products more so I feel like I can really give my thoughts on each and every single one of these that I'm going to try today so if all that sounds interesting let's go ahead and get started the first product I want to talk about is like I do lip prep right at the beginning so I bought two products that would be for that for me and the first one I finally am trying the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm. This one is just the vanilla beige one. I definitely see what people are talking about now with these. I really have been using this a lot. It's just very very sheer has this like a little bit of pigment to it and I really loved this color that's definitely like a me color a shade that I would wear all the time so I did want to pick this one up and I'm so glad I finally decided to try these out and then the other lip prep product that I bought this is like the gloss bounce I believe these are lip oils from say beauty this one is in the shade dip which I think it's really honestly about a similar shade to that summer Fridays one you can definitely tell what types of shades that I like I just this is a really nice lip oil formula I don't think it's a gloss. I think it's a lip oil. I don't believe it's a gloss, but either way, I like to wear it kind of like a lip oil. I applied the Summer Fridays one yesterday, so I'm just going to use this one right here from Say, and you can see. It's just so pretty and glossy. Really like that. And I really love this shade too. I think this is a really pretty, just everyday perfect shade. But I like to use these more so as lip prep. All right, the next product would be my eyes. I'm going to wait to do like my brows at the end. I just find that's a little bit easier now because sometimes when I apply my foundation, I mess up this part right here. So I'm going to wait and do that at the very end. So we're going to move on to eyeshadow. All I'm wearing is my Milani eyeshadow primer. And I did pick up this Danessa Myrat's Groundwork Defining Neutral eyeshadow palette the one her the first one that she released I know she now has a new one that has more of these blushy tones in it but this is the one I wanted the most and I did pick up this little brush from Merit this is their little eyeshadow brush it just has like this end like this and then a really small little end for the under eye I bought this one to go with my little Merit single shadow that I didn't buy it for this particular palette but I have Merit's other brush they only have two so far I think it's a cute little tiny eyeshadow brush it's perfect for traveling and if you're doing like a one and done it's all you need so I did want to mention that right quick since we're on the subject of eyeshadow but I do like this and I really love it with that merit shadow I'm not going to be using that one today with this palette though now I have had a chance to use this palette a couple of times I have used it with just the pomades and then I did a look with just the powders so far I'm not impressed by it I don't know and I feel like maybe I'm hoping it's just user error and it's not actually the palette because when I use the pomades they creased on me and then when I use the powders they look very dry like they gave my eyelids some really just texture that I wasn't really a fan of I don't know I, I don't know what was going on so I want to try it again with the pomades today but this time instead of using a brush like I used before I'm going to try to use my fingers I feel like maybe just maybe that would kind of help them kind of really spread and set on my eyelid a little bit better but I just haven't been impressed with this palette so far and I really hate that because I love the idea of this palette so we're going to give it another shot I'm going to start with the sandstone pomade first and I'm hoping that I can kind of maybe make this work better for me. I said this is kind of like my skin tone shade. So I was going to use this shade really first. Kind of like almost like a primer. But I just haven't been impressed with this palette. And I just, I don't know. I want to really like it. But it just hasn't really worked for me. And I watch a lot of creators who have absolutely raved about this palette. And maybe that's kind of what set me up for failure. Because it was hyped up a little bit more. But then I have watched some people say they don't like it. That they just didn't get much use out of it I don't know right now I'm very unhappy with my purchase and see it looks so can you see how dry and how it's clinging right there it's clinging like there's a huge dry patch right there where it's just not wanting to blend in and I've had trouble with this palette giving me that weird texture like that I've used a brush and now I see that I'm using my fingers and it's not working for me either so I just honestly am not impressed with this palette that is giving me an awful texture on my lid I'm hoping you can see that I know I don't have like those special lenses that can zoom in really well but it's just giving me texture all right in there I don't know if mine is just like dried out already or something. Cause I'm putting my finger in it and it does feel like almost like a dry putty. Just probably putting it on this eye because I need to I have to make these eyes match. I was hoping to use this shade as kind of like a set shade. Like it, you know, kind of like it just blanks out 
the veins and stuff on my eyelid that's why I wanted to use this shade first but it just gives me such a weird texture and it makes my eyelids look so dry yeah it's doing the same thing on the other eye like it's giving me so much texture the only other product I've tried from Danessa Myricks is her color fix I believe that's what they're called the little um the liquid eyeshadows that you can use in like your cheeks and your lips I love those I had a little sample pack one time and that it lasted me so long simply because you just did not need much at all and I really enjoyed using those. So I had really high hopes for this palette and there is so much more I'd love to try from this brand because I love how inclusive this brand is. I love that anyone, no matter how fair or how deep their skin may be, there's something for them. So I really was had high hopes for this palette but it just hasn't worked for me. And if it works for others, I'm so happy that it does and maybe it's just not meant for like dry eyelids because I I feel like my eyelids are kind of more on the drier side but I always prep with eye cream and everything so I just feel like I don't know and I've used plenty of cream shadows before that don't do this so I just it's just not gonna be a palette for me I'm gonna go one over and use this shade right here desert just try placing that over the top here I mean I've tried a brush twice now and now I'm just I said well maybe I could try my finger because I have seen I believe it was on Sephora's website where they said you can use your fingers with this palette I'm not gonna push it too much with this eyeshadow look today simply because I just it's not looking good on my eyes so I don't really want to draw too much attention to it so I'm just gonna after I do this shade I'm just gonna stop right there I'm not gonna apply anything else. Now I didn't pick up a mascara in this part two but I did pick up the Refi mascara in my part one Sephora haul. I really love this mascara. I love the way it makes my lashes look. It's just a huge learning curve because of this strange wand. It is so weird and no matter what I do I'm always at least making a little bit of a mess like poking myself right in here. I just I'm trying to learn it better because I love the way it makes my lashes look but it is a learning process, it really is. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that right quick and then we'll come back and move on to the next step. And while I was off camera, I went ahead and applied my under eye corrector and my concealer since I didn't have anything for this part two. But from part one, I did purchase this Cali Ray. This is the Hideaway Brightening and Hydrating Under Eye Serum Concealer. And this one is in Cool Sunrise. I'm starting to like this more and more. The first couple of times I used it, I just wasn't, I don't wanna say I wasn't impressed by it, but I felt like it didn't do as much as I wanted it to but I feel like it's doing better and better the more I've used it the more I've kind of you know gotten used to the amount I need but I do really love the formula of it it is so smoothing and hydrating I really love the formula of it I would like to try a different shade I know this shade is a little bit dark for me but I thought that because it was a little bit darker it would help conceal my under eye darkness a little bit more but I do want to try the one they have I think it's called pale sun I believe it has much more of a yellowness to it and I think that would work better for my under eye so I would like to try a different shade but I do like this more and more the more I use it the more I really like it and for concealer I'm just using the Ilia True Skin Serum Concealer in the shade Arrowroot. I really do like this one as well. It's a very lightweight concealer. There's not like a ton of coverage, but I'm fine with that. So that's all I'm wearing on my under eyes. For like foundation, I purchased two different ones and I like them both. I've used both of them now and I do love both. The first one is from Super Goop. This is their Protect tint daily SPF 10 SPF 50 mine's in the shade 10 in. I do really like this stuff. It just comes into like a little squeezy bottle. And I'll put some on the back of my hand so you can see the shade. So you can kind of see that's about what that shade looks like. At first I thought it was going to be a little too pale for my face, but it actually works out pretty well. And then the second one I picked up is from Ilia. This is their Skin Rewind Complexion Stick. I picked up the shade 3W Spruce. This is their new stick foundation and I really do like this. I wore it all day yesterday and it looks so beautiful on the skin from the start of the day to the end of the day. I was very impressed by it. Now because I wore that one yesterday, I'm going to be using the Super Goot one today, but I do really like this one and it's so easy to blend out. I didn't struggle at all with the way this blended out on the skin or anything and it looks so pretty and so natural. So I do really like this, but since I wore this one yesterday, I'm going to go in with the Super Goot one today. Now this is one because it's like an SPF, I like to apply it with my hands. The first time I used this, I'm hoping that this will make sense. I don't know if it will or not. It felt drying when I was first applying it with my hands. It felt really drying, like it was going to look really dry on my skin. But actually, it actually looks really, really nice on the skin. 
Maybe it was simply my hands that day were dry because it's not really doing that today. So actually, just I'll take back what I just said. It's so lovely on the skin. Like it just gives you this pretty glow. And I love that it has the SPF 50 because I much prefer SPF products that have that. I don't know if it really makes much of a difference. I've heard some people say that after you get above like 30, that it's basically the same, but I don't know. I guess because my skin is so fair, I feel better with a higher SPF number. So I love that this one is SPF 50. And I like that there are a lot more shades in this because usually tinted sunscreens come in like two shades, maybe at the most, sometimes three, and they're always way too dark for me. They're always tinted so dark. So I like that they come out with like a multiple shades in this. I don't know how many shades there are in total, but I'm glad that they did it like this instead of just having like one or two. But you can see just how pretty and glowy that is. It's so lovely on the skin. I don't know what I was talking about. Maybe that was my hands being dry that day because it didn't go on like that at all. That day it kind of had felt dry in my hands when I was doing it like this and I thought that it would look dry on my skin but it didn't. It ended up looking flawless and it looked beautiful all day long. And a day it didn't feel like that, so it must have been just something must have been something must have been on my hands that day making it feel like that because that looks so stunning. And then what I like doing after I apply it with my fingers is I'm taking my little real technique sponge. I've sprayed this with some setting spray, and then I like to go over and really make sure this is pressed into the skin. Because even though it's an SPF, I'm also treating it like my foundation too. So I want to do this step because I do this with every foundation that I apply. Also, it kind of helps me set it too with my setting spray. So it makes it, you know, I have a little bit more longevity. I purchased three different blushes. I mean, it's like that declutter I did didn't even matter. I said, I need to be more selective with blushes. And I and I am. I'm, I'm picking out lightest shades only in these ranges and stuff. But I love blush and I like having a lot of it. I think I always will. But the first one here is from Freck Beauty. This is the Cheek Slime Lip and Cheek Tint. This one is in the shade Cuff. I had a little short here on my YouTube that I, it had a moment. I feel like that's probably my most viewed short. And it also was my most viewed video on Instagram as well. Like I, it was posted as a reel. And this is so lovely and so pigmented. I wore this shade yesterday. It was absolutely stunning on the skin. It lasted all day long. You just need the teeniest, tiniest amount and it will just go flawlessly. I mean, just the smallest amount would probably work for both cheeks, depending on the shade you pick. The next one that I picked up is from Merit. This is another one of their little flush bomb blushes. This one's in the shade Cheeky. I only have one of these and it's in the shade Stockholm and I love that blush so much. So I wanted to pick up another shade and this is such a pretty one. This is the only one out of the three I'm mentioning that I have not used yet. So I am going to be using this one on camera today, but I wanted to show all the shades swatched out. But I already know this is a nice formula that I really love these blushes. So I already know I'm going to like it, but I do want to use that one on camera. And the last one here that I picked up is from Refi. This is their cream blush in the shade Rose. Look how little and cute this is. This is a beautiful blush shade. This is the Refi one. And when I tell you, it is so absolutely beautiful on the skin. It is so darling. I love it so much. I used more of a fluffier brush to apply it. So it just gave me like this beautiful wash of color on my cheeks. And I loved it so very much. This one is probably my favorite so far. I love the Merit one for sure. And I love the cheek slime. But I just really love the color of this. It was so pretty on the skin. And the brush that I'm talking about is this one from Refi. This is their dual ended brush they have. Like they have the more fluffier side. And then they have a little bit more of a denser side. I did pick up this brush and I saw where they're going to be soon launching another brush and a concealer. I cannot wait to pick up both of those because I want to try. I've been really loving Refi's products lately so I cannot wait to try those products out. So we're going to go in with the Merit one today and I'm going to take this fluffier side. This is the brush that I used with the Refi blush and it just created such the prettiest flush because it's just kind of more on the fluffier side so it didn't apply too much product which is what I love. I do not like too much blush on my face. I like for you to see the blush but I don't want it to look like you know I don't want to feel like I'm panicking trying to blend it out and it's too much for my skin tone or anything like that because I mean there's no such thing as too much blush that's just my preference. And you see that, that 
darling flush that's just barely there. That's what I like. I have been doing this a lot in this brush. I really love this brush. It's a really lightweight brush. Like, it doesn't have weight to it. I don't, you know, that doesn't bother me. If you want some nice weighted brushes, Say Beauty. Say Beauty's brushes, they're expensive. But they are the most nice quality I have tried thus far. They are very weighted. They are heavy in your hand. They look nice. Those are some nice brushes. But I love this one because it's more lightweight. And look at that. It took this shade, which you can see can be probably a little bit deep on the skin if you really, really went in intensely, but it just sheared it out to this most beautiful shade and new favorite brush for sure. And I cannot wait to have their other brush too. I know they've been teasing their concealer over on Instagram and I will be trying it. It comes out two days before my birthday, so birthday gift to me from me. And I'm getting to where I really love these double-ended brushes. I used not to. I used to say, how do you store them? And I still don't really know how. I have a little bag over there that I just keep these brushes in like that. I keep my Say brushes in there too, even though those aren't only one Say brushes double-ended. I keep them in that little pouch simply because I just don't want them out where dust or anything can get on them simply because they're just too nice. For my brows, I did purchase my a pencil from Refi. This is just their brow pencil in the shade medium. And then I did actually purchase a backup of their brow sculpt, that clear brow gel that I've been using. I did purchase a backup. I really like that product. It really holds the hairs that I have right in here because this brow is more rounded. So I really want the hairs right here at the beginning to really stick up. Like, you know, have more of that shape. And this brow gel is one of the few that will actually hold it like that. So I did purchase a backup because I can tell my other one is getting a little bit more like I'm getting to the bottom of the tube. So this was a repurchase. And then I did try out their pencil. This one is in the shade medium. The And this is really pigmented. So I the really dark one, if you have super, super, super dark brows, the dark shade would probably be incredibly dark for you. This, it's got the little teeniest little point to it. And you can see right there, this is the medium. And if you really press, you can make that very dark. I find that I have to go in a little bit light-handed to keep it from being too stark, but it's a really good brow pencil. I've been using it every single day since I purchased it, and I really do like it. So let me do my brows right quick here. I like to comb my brows down because I do have most of like my bald spots would be at the top of the brow. So that's why I like to fill in that part, really. That's about the only part I fill in. And then a little bit on the bottom, not too much though. Now, this does go on a little bit warm for my brows, but I find that once I kind of use the little spoolie to blend over it, it's not an issue. And then once I put like the brow gel on, it's not. It doesn't stand out. But I feel like the next shade is way too dark because this can get really dark really fast if I'm not careful. So I am barely touching my skin with this brow pencil, but I do like it. I have really been loving this brand. Of course, I love their whole, you know, aesthetic. I like that very natural makeup look. And a lot of these clean beauty brands, I tend to favor them not so much for that, not because of the clean part. That's kind of subjective, but the aesthetic. They're very much, you know, your skin, but better type of makeup. Like it's not trying to cover anything, which there's nothing wrong with that. But I don't really want that on myself anymore. I love these really pretty soft, natural makeup looks. So I find that the clean beauty brands tend to give me that more so than some of these other brands do. So I feel like every brand that I consider a favorite would fall under that clean category. Like Ilia, Tower 28, Say Beauty, Refi, Cali Ray, you know, all those brands like that. I tend to really enjoy. It's such a good pencil. This is one I would definitely repurchase over and over and over because I just really love the way it makes my brows look. And once you actually get it in the brows, you cannot tell that it has that really bit of warmness to it. I just feel like I don't see that after I apply it. So I like that. Then I'm just gonna use my Refi Brow Gel and go over this. Now that I've kind of done my face steps, I feel like I can finally go in with this, which, see this is where I like to really comb up the brow hairs right there. And then just kind of be a little more sparing with the brows out here. Cause I like that more fluffed up look right there. Got two lip liners that I purchased and I really like 
both of them. The first one is from Fret Beauty. This is their Makeout Club Nude Muse Lip Liner. This one's in the shade 1. This is such a long-lasting lip liner. I want more shades in this. Honestly, I'd want every single shade because all of them are beautiful nude shades, so I would want every single one of them love this. And the other one I picked up is from Lawless. This is their Forget the Filler Definer Liner. And this one is in the shade Honey Rose. This is a really pretty one too. This shade right over here. A little bit darker than that one and it's super pretty. This one is also very long lasting on the lips. I really like it. And I like that this one is your traditional wooden lip pencil because I love a wooden lip pencil. I don't know what it is about them but I tend to favor them. But both of these are super good. I would really want more shades in these especially the frame. I think there's only about maybe seven or eight shades. I want all of them. They're beautiful. This is absolutely stunning. I purchased two lipsticks the first one is from Merit. This is their signature lip matte lipsticks. I know they have the cream lipsticks and I have one of those shades, but this one is the matte one. This one's in the shade Classic. And this is the most prettiest everyday shade. I've been wearing this one a lot lately. It is so pretty on the lips. It lasts a very long time because it is matte, but it's not a very drying matte. It feels very comfortable on the lips. The next lipstick, I had to do it. I purchased another shade in the Westman Atelier lipsticks. This one is in the shade Lacquer. These are the Lip Suede Matte Lipsticks. I love these. I have one other shade that I purchased in my first round with the sale, and I want more shades of these. This is just so stunning. Like, look how absolutely gorgeous that bullet is with the little hearts in it. It is so pretty. I have not worn this one yet, and there is that shade right there. So super pretty and so warm toned really stunning shade. I wanted this one first after I purchased my other one simply because the other shade I have is a little more on the more neutral cool tone side so I wanted one that had a little bit more warmth to it and I think that is very pretty. I think I might apply that one today simply because I haven't used it yet. Not this particular shade so I think I'm gonna go ahead and apply that one and then the last product that I got here is from Lawless. This is the Forget the Filler Lip Plumping Line Smoothing Gloss and this one is in the shade Glaze. This is such a beautiful glossy topper that you can just put over any lipstick and it looks absolutely beautiful. I've been loving this. I've been wearing it a lot lately. So super stunning and my camera's battery is about to die on me. I can see it flashing up there. That makes me nervous so let me go ahead and apply this lipstick so you can see that. Okay so I'm not a fan of that shade by itself. It's a lovely color, but it looks a little weird on me. It's a little too orange. Let me blot that a little bit. Let me blot it. I don't know how I feel about that shade. I don't think it's terrible, but I don't really know if I like it on me. But I'm going to go with it. I'm just going to leave it alone. I'm going to leave it there. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to put this glazed over the top of it because it needs, it needs something. Yeah, I like that better with that glaze over it. Adds it a little more life. Does that make sense? It needs a, it needed a little bit more life to it. I feel like it needed something. I like it better with the gloss over the top of it. I don't know. You'll have to let me know what you think. Maybe I'm just being weird about that. I don't know. I guess because I haven't worn a shade like that that's so warm. But there you have part two of my Sephora haul try on here. I hope that you did enjoy today's video and if you did I hope you will please consider leaving a like, a comment, or subscribing if you haven't already and hit that bell notification so you are alerted to all my future posts and follow me over on Instagram at Jessica Dearly and I hope to see you in my next video.